Hello and welcome back to our webcast series on the topic of solids and contact. So in this video we're going to look at how to locate points on a cone. Now this is very similar to our previous video where we were locating points on a sphere. So if you haven't already done so, it might be worthwhile just having a look at that before you look at this video. So we'll begin by just looking at our basic setup where we have a cone over here in 3D and over here in elevation and in plan view. Now we'll start by just picking a point on our extreme generator. So, as we've seen already, our extreme generator is a line perpendicular to our viewing direction going through the center of our cone as seen in plan view. So here we can see our point on our extreme generator in plan view. So that is on our extreme generator over here in our 3D view. And because that point is on our extreme generator in plan view, that means that when we project it into our elevation, it's going to be projected onto the outline like so. So there's the extreme generator in our front elevation. So by projecting our point straight up, there it is on the outside edge, our extreme generator in elevation, and that's the location of point P. And the same can be said if we started with point P in our elevation, we can imagine there he is there, we just bring him straight down into our plan view onto our center line, like so. So that would be our point P in our plan view. Now, like in our sphere, we're going to look at what happens if we have point P, say, in the front or at the back of our object, so not on our extreme generator. So here we can see point P is located in front of the object, and we're going to roll our object, our point, all the way around onto the side view, so we're onto our extreme generator, and then locate it in our front elevation, and then roll it back to the front of the object. So we've kind of got a two-stage process, one rolling it onto the side, and then the second rolling it back into its starting off position. So like with our sphere, as we take our point and roll it around onto our side, you can see the shape we get, or the path we get, is this circular arc with its center point on the center of the apex of our cone. So that is our circular arc as we roll our point around our cone, like so. And you can see we roll it onto the extreme generator here. So this is our extreme generator in our 3D view. And when we project that back into our front elevation, it's going to be on our outside edge, our extreme generator in elevation. So there's P like so. Now we have P in our front elevation. And now we want to just simply roll our point back to our starting off position. So in our plan view, rolling it back takes this arc shape, but looking in from the front, we can see our point as he rolls back here isn't going to drop any height, so he's just going to appear to move straight across, like so. So that's him rolling back in our plan view, straight across in our front elevation. And how we know where to stop is simply by taking our starting off position and just continue him straight up into elevation, giving us the position where we start with in our front elevation. And if we start off with P in elevation, it's just a case of doing the exact same, only in reverse. We bring a line straight across, rolling it around to the side in elevation, bringing it down to our center line in plan view, and then we roll it around into our finishing position, dropping down from our front elevation to locate our final position in our uh, plan view. So this is one method. With the likes of a cone, we also have a second method where we can take the likes of our cone and instead of rolling our point around to the edge, well what we can do is we can imagine our cone made up of a series of generators. So like our extreme generator, we can just draw a series of lines going from the apex down to the base of our cone. So here we can see them in our plan view, here we see them in elevation, and all we're going to do is just basically draw a line from our apex through our point down to the base here like that. So we can do that in our plan view, there's the apex through our point down to our base, and we're just going to redraw that in in our front elevation. So where it hits our base, we project that point up into our elevation, and we redraw in our generator. So from the apex down, and because our point is on our generator in our um, plan view, that means that he's going to also project onto our generator in our elevation. So there he is on our plan view, bring it straight up into our elevation, and there he is located on our generator in our elevation. So it's quite a short uh, way to locate our point. So that's two ways to locate our point on a cone, and um, our next video is going to look at how to do the same then with the likes of a cylinder. So um, hopefully this has been of help to you. Uh, thank you very much.